And so we're going to go ahead and get started because I'm anxious and ready to get on. I'm a little excited about this today. Uh, I think we have four great panelists, and so I'm really excited to talk to them and hear their stories, uh, some of them for the first time uh, since they've graduated. So it, it's a big deal for me as well. But again, I'm Bob Atkins. I'm the Dean of Admissions at w &J. I'm also a 1987 graduate of the college, and um, uh, I was a parent's nightmare. We'll hear a little bit more about that later on, but I'm really happy to have you guys here. Uh, I'm going to let our panelists, who are really, I think, good folks, introduce themselves as well. Um, Jake, you're just to my left, so I'm going to call on you to go first. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jake uh, Bao. I'm originally from a little town outside of Buffalo, New York, called Lockport, uh, right on the Erie Canal. Um, came in 2013, 2014 as a freshman and graduated in 2017. Um, I always had a plan to go to school for business, um, and it ended up working out that way, which, you know, we'll get into, I'm sure, some more, uh, but majored in business and uh, minored in communications. Awesome. Thanks, Jay. Kenny. Hello, everyone. My name is Kenny Clark. I am a 2018 graduate of Washington Jefferson College, where I majored in biochemistry and minored in religious studies. I'm originally from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, and I'm really excited to be talking with you guys today. Thanks, Kenny. Chris. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, I grew up in the North Hills area of Pittsburgh, um, class of 2018, with a double major in business and computer science. So I may have mentioned earlier that I'm a 1987 graduate of the college, and I'm really proud of that achievement. But the achievement that I'm probably most proud of is the fact that my daughter, Olivia Atkins, is also a WJ graduate. So Olivia, I'll hand it off to you. Hi, uh, as he said, I'm his daughter, I'm Olivia Adkins. I'm a 2018 graduate. I majored in political science with a minor in communication arts, and I was on um, the pre-law track. Um, I'm actually set to graduate in about two weeks um, from law school. So uh, yeah. Thank you. As you can see, we've got some really experienced panelists here. They've done a little bit of everything at w &J and and afterwards. So uh, we're really excited to get to this questions next. Um, I know it's a long time. It's been a long time since your freshman year. I know it doesn't feel like that for you guys, but it's been a long time. So tell us about your first year at w &J. What was the transition from high school like? Kenny, we'll let you start that with that question. Sure. Um, so my first year at w &J was a really exciting time. Uh, it was a lot of time of growth and, like Bob said, transitioning. Um, going from that, going from high school to uh, college is a big jump for anybody. But um, I guess at w &J, it for me, it was a really joyful process because I was meeting a lot of new people, making a lot of new connections with not only students, but also faculty and staff. And that really helped really like usher the process along for me. And I felt right at home at w &J within a few weeks, if not even sooner, uh, with even in orientation week. So it was, a, it was, it was a growing process, but it was, it was far along the way. Chris, what was your transition from high school to college like? Uh, it was an interesting one. I, well, so I transferred to w &J after my first semester. Um, I went to a, a school in South Carolina for, for one semester and then came back up north. Um, but it's definitely a, a really big change because, you know, you're used to having that hand holding like parent kind of there for you. Uh, for that first 18 years and then when you come to college it's very different you kind of have to you know be that adult and you know be responsible and, and take a lot of action and, and honestly at some points fail so you might not know how to do your laundry like me um, but at the end of the day uh, yeah I, I think it was a really uh, formative like point of your life is whenever you're kind of out on your own and you get to meet new people form new opinions and you know you don't you don't have that stress of like your parents or stuff forcing something on you. Chris, I totally empathize with you. The first time I did laundry, I somehow managed to get a pink sock in with a bunch of gray stuff. And uh, it was all my football stuff. So I had to wear pink uh, football gear pretty much the rest of the semester. So I know exactly what you're saying. Jake, what yeah. was your transition? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jake, I mean, I would have solidified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, uh, I came in as a football player actually too. So I was uh, definitely a little nervous, kind of had an in on campus because I was already there for a while uh, before classes had started. Um, but coming from, you know, basically 300 miles away, it was definitely uh, a, a transition, um, kind of a culture shock, definitely different from what I was used to. Um, but yeah, like Kenny said, I mean, I, I loved everything about WJ and, uh, you know, the transition was not uh, as difficult as I thought it would be. It, it turned out really well and, and I loved my time there. Awesome. Olivia, you had a sort of a different transition, a little bit more like Chris's. Tell us about yours. Yeah, so um, I actually transferred um, as a soft, in as a sophomore. Um, 
So I spent my freshman year elsewhere and um, to put it bluntly was pretty miserable um, for my entire freshman year. Um, and then I transferred to WJ and I think the biggest difference for me was um, the community feeling at WJ and how as soon as I got there, I, you know, made friends um, and also, you know, had faculty and staff that were willing to support me and uh, in my academic pursuits as well as anything else I was interested in. Um, I joined cheerleading and a couple other different clubs and uh, activities that on campus and really felt uh, the community spirit and felt like I had the support that I needed, um, which was great uh, in the transition because I think a big part of the reason why I wanted to transfer was because, you know, we, I was kind of left hanging <laughs> in the transition and felt uh, very isolated. Uh, and I think WMJ really helps uh, with that. That's awesome. That's also a very, very nice segue. You mentioned being involved in cheerleading. What else were you involved in during your time at WMJ? And, and what do you think really helped shape you uh, in, your, in your experience at WMJ? Yeah, so cheerleading was a big one. Um, I was also involved in Kappa Alpha Theta, one of the um, sororities on campus. Uh, I was involved in pre-law society. Um, I wasn't a part of um, the BSU, but I definitely interacted with them on occasion, um, helped with some activities and such. Um, and so those were the big ones, I think, uh, that I was really involved with on campus. Uh, Pre-law society really helped set me up um, for, I ended up going to Pitt Law School um, and we did a ton of activities with them. Um, I actually, um, whenever I came to Pitt, um, I, uh, one of my sorority sisters was here. Um, so that was a great way for me to transition into law school um, with someone I already kind of knew. Um, so a lot, I did a lot of, I feel like I was involved in a lot of things, even though it sounds like a short list, it was a lot of time and energy went into those activities and I got a lot of reward from it. Awesome. Chris, what, what were you involved in during your time at WJ? Um, so I was involved uh, in the Young Entrepreneur Society, um, as well as the newspaper, uh, where uh, that was, I really enjoyed the newspaper, even though I didn't necessarily get into writing out of school. Um, it was it was really interesting kind of shifting from that, like, um, writer to like editor to then uh, managing editor and kind of like being a team lead and helping ensure that like the, the paper was keeping up to date with modern events on campus. Um, I was also in Hillel, as well as the Photography Club, um, as well as SGA, but I'm sure Kenny can talk more about SGA. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's kind of what I was involved in, and then doing a bunch of nerdy coding stuff on the side. That nerdy coding stuff really worked out really well for you, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we can chat later about my grad cap. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. Jake, you're like me, you're a football player. Uh, what else were you involved in during, during your time at WJ? Yeah, so like I mentioned, I came in uh, playing football, um, actually ended up walking onto the lacrosse team too. So, you know, that took a lot of my time <laughs> playing two sports. Um, but I actually got hurt uh, my freshman year of football. Um, and it wasn't my intention, but I somehow ended up uh, auditioning for the school play and ended up getting a few roles and stuck with it throughout the rest of uh, the four years. Um, kind of stayed involved in theater and that's how communications uh, ended up becoming my minor. Um, like I said, I just kind of stumbled into it, never really had that plan um, and, and really enjoyed it actually. So um, between the football across, uh, you know, a lot of the theater stuff. And then I was also uh, involved in uh, Phi Kappa Psi, uh, surety on campus, of course. So, you know, obviously uh, as the students know, um, it, Greek life is huge uh, on WJ's campus uh, on all levels and perspectives. So yeah, definitely, again, doesn't sound like a lot, same thing with Olivia, but you know, it takes up a lot of your time. <laughs> so Jake, had you ever done any acting in, in high school or was that, was your really no, the first? No, that was wow. the first time I had ever done any, like I said, even thought about it and uh, just kind of worked out that way. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go back to see if you're using communication arts in your degree today, but we'll come back to that in just a second. Kenny, what were you involved in? 
Yeah, I think one of the great things about WJ is your ability to get involved in a lot of things. And uh, as people mentioned, you can kind of get involved with them to the extent that you want. If you want to be mildly involved, you can. If you want to get really involved in things, you can do that as well. Me personally, I was really involved with the Black Student Union. So that was one of the groups that really took me under their wing when I first got to campus and was really instrumental in shaping my time at WJ. Ended up becoming the president of that uh, during, during my junior year. Um, also was heavily involved in the student government, um, as Chris mentioned earlier. Um, and was president of that during my senior year. Um, and that was amazing. I got to interact with so many different on-campus student groups and interact with faculty and staff in that role also. Um, similarly, kind of to, to, to Jake a bit, I was involved with the, um, the music department at WNJ. So I was a part of our Camerata Singers, which is our, our, our chamber choir, and as well as a WNJ uh, choir um, also. Uh, and a couple other things, like I was an RA as well. So that, was, uh, that helped out a lot because I got to, um, that actually helped uh, with uh, cost of tuition and room and board. Um, so I got to interact with people on my floor and got to kind of uh, be a leader there, there too. So um, but like I mentioned before, you really have a chance to, to do a lot of different things um, and just kind of stick your foot in here, your hand in there and see, and see what you like at WJ. Sounds like you all had some really awesome experiences, but I'm gonna push the button just a little, push the issue just a little bit. I want each of you to think about and tell me what your favorite one or two experiences at WJ were during your time on our campus. Um, I can see Jacob and Chris really thinking hard about this. So I'll start with Olivia this time. I'll let her go first, put her on the spot. So um, mine's kind of easy. Um, in all honesty, I got to go to London um, while I was at WJ with uh, some of my best friends that I'm still friends with today. Um, and uh, we did an intercession trip, which I know it's J term now, correct? Yeah, J term. Um, so uh, we did an intercession, uh, intercession trip at the time um, that we got to see different shows um, or musicals every night. I forgot to mention, I wasn't also involved in the theater um, department, but uh, yeah, and I, it was the first time out of the country for me. Um, it was the first time I got to travel anywhere major um, other than like um, small trips with my family. Um, and it was absolutely incredible. Um, I got to, you know, feel that independence um, of traveling without my family, but also having a group that I was with that kind of led me to different things, uh, made sure we were going to the right museums and um, traveling around the city without having to um, navigate it myself. And so it was just an amazing experience. Um, and then my second favorite experience, um, I got to spend four months in Ireland um, as part of study abroad. Uh, and that was also absolutely incredible. Um, it was a very, very much a culture shock um, for me, but definitely it's something that I really enjoyed. Um, I got to travel a lot while I was there, um, take classes in a different country, which is always interesting. Um, the professors were so great. Um, we did a bunch of field trips and stuff like that uh, with my classes. And so it was my two favorite experiences with WMJ were the opportunities that they provided for me. Um, and I really don't think I could have gotten those opportunities anywhere else. Uh, I can't say that I come from a super well-off family where my family is, you know, going on extravagant fa uh, family vacations every year. Uh, so w &J really provided me with the opportunity to do something special. Um, so that was really cool. Yeah, I agree. We're not taking five people to Ireland anytime real soon. So I'm glad you enjoyed that trip. Uh, Chris, <laughs> what, <laughs> although I'm so mad at you about meeting Mark Ruffalo. We'll talk about that later too. Uh, Chris, what was your favorite, favorite couple of memories? Yeah, one that definitely comes to mind to me is also, I guess, an intercession, but it was, uh, they had to kind of like shift it to the summer. Uh, it was like right after the semester had ended. Um, and uh, we basically traveled out west and we did conservation photography where we understood more about like nature as well as like able to photograph it. And so I did a really cool exhibition there that was fo focusing on humans intruding on nature and where that line is between intrusion and destruction. Um, and it was a, a really great experience that has now led me to actually moving out here. So it's great to be able to now go outside and, and Colorado and go hit the mountains and go do some cool photography. So those are pretty good experiences right there. Yeah. Uh, Jake, what, what are your favorite two or three experiences, one or two experiences? Well, you know, honestly, I've been sitting here thinking and I, I could honestly give you probably, you know, at least one or two from every year or semester, you know, um, and I, but I think, um, you know, as I look back, um, it, like I said, everything was really positive. There were maybe some things I wish I would have done, like uh, explore more of the Magellan aspect or the travel aspect, but I was so involved with sports and enjoying that, you know, it's not, not that I regret that or anything, but I think like Olivia said, 
Um, the biggest thing that I've taken from w &J has definitely been the opportunity, um, you know, especially after uh, school, you know, same thing with me. I didn't really grow up uh, in a well-off family, uh, you know, single mom, um, kind of sports was the only way I was getting to school. And, uh, you know, once I did that, I just never looked back and w &J was was definitely the best choice that I had made for sure. Kenny, I saved you for last, but I know you've got some great memories. So share those with us today as well. Definitely. Um, I think one of them has to be uh, one of the four years at w &J where I was able to have a Black Student Union Thanksgiving uh, potluck that we have every year. So we each of us kind of bring a dish and we get a big turkey or two. We uh, have a nice, big, this is pre-COVID obviously, a nice big spread where we all can share food and then we play music and dance. It was, it was really a great time. and Just a time for camaraderie and just fellowship with each other, uh, which I really enjoyed every year. So just those times with friends where you can, you know, just hang out, relax a little bit, um, not be doing schoolwork and things of that nature. So that's definitely one of my favorite experiences any one of those four years. And then um, my senior year I had a special opportunity. Um, so during my senior year, me and one of my best friends actually created a music um, album that we like released for the school and like was circulating around the school for a couple months. And uh, during during the senior spring concert, uh, me, and, me and my friend actually got to perform uh, as an opening act for uh, Wall A, so in front of the entire school. So um, it was some students kind of raised the, raised the uh, proposition that we performed for them and it really picked up some steam. We got the chance to do that. And it, it was just a great experience. I got to perform in front of friends and they were like gave out t-shirts and everything like that it was it, it just made me feel like I was like really like welcomed in and uh like respected as, as a student and just like felt, felt the love from all my classmates well having listened to your your the album that you released it was good it was well done um I'm sorry I didn't see see you perform as the opening act but I really enjoyed it. I still have some of your music on, on my on my um my playlist so uh well done great to good hear job. thank you <laughs> So um, we heard a little bit about what you guys were doing, but maybe expand for, in particular, Jake and Chris, tell us a little bit more about what you guys are doing. Um, and then Olivia and Kenny, we'll talk a bit more about how you guys are doing in, in graduate programs. Uh, we'll let Jake start this time. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, I kind of always had the, the plan of getting into business. Um, you know, whether that was through management or sales, uh, my mom's a realtor. Um, so I kind of always grew up in, in that uh, mind frame. Um, and when I got to WJ, like I mentioned, business was was the route I wanted to take. And then I just kind of stumbled into that acting thing. And I and I realized like, hey, this can really help me with what I'm looking to do moving forward, um, you know, and the ability to speak to people and in front of people and especially large groups, small groups, whatever the case may be, um, you know, ended up taking quite a few public speaking courses, um, you know, and everything else that entails the communications aspect. And it's, I feel really improved, um, you know, helped me in my business as well as uh, what I like to do on the side, which is I actually started coaching lacrosse out here at uh, Hemfield High School. Um, and, you know, just the communication with the, with the students, uh, my players um, has definitely, you know, that's all been positive influences from what I learned at W&J. Um, and again, you know, moving 300 miles or 400 miles from home is, can definitely be tough, but you know the friendships I made at W and J uh, and the opportunity that was provided to me is you know has all been worth it. So I'm I'm glad with with where I'm at now. Chris, yeah. Um, so uh, after college, I jumped into UX design. It's like a type of product design for software at UPMC Health Plan. Um, and since then, now I live in Boulder, Colorado, uh, and I am working as both a software designer and engineer. Um, and recently, I'm joining a new team in about two weeks. So I was kind of poached. The tech industry is very much that way, where it's like, hey, one person will like see what you're working on, they'll totally steal you. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of what I've, I've been working on, uh, as well as launching my own company this summer. So I'll be launching a tech company in July. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And of course, we've got lots of good WJ graduates with C program degrees in CIS that can help you out. Uh, so make sure yeah. you come visit us when you're ready to hire, okay? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Olivia, talk to us a little bit about law school. How well prepared for you for, for law school were you? And, and do you think WJ helped you get to that point? Yeah, so I decided that I wanted I decided that I wanted to go to law school in um, probably my sophomore year of high school. Um, I did a mock trial competition and absolutely loved it. Um, and so I was really interested in that aspect of, uh, you know, actually litigating. 
Um, and when I got to WJ, they kind of, I got on the pre-law track and they kind of said, you know, litigating is not all law school is and taught me about the whole array of law and um, all of the different things that come into it, uh, the different things you need to learn about and really made me fall in love with the actual career and the actual study of law, um, which was obviously great setting me up for uh, law school. Uh, I feel like I was really, really prepared for law school comparatively to my classmates. Um, a lot of the things that the WJ professors had me do, whether it was writing papers or um, analyzing actual laws and legislation, um, was exactly what we were doing in law school. Um, I actually, my first week of class, um, I wrote to one of my past WJ professors, Bubba Masala, um, who, if you have the chance to take a Bubba class, take it. Um, but I was set up to uh, do a brief, and they gave us the requirements for the brief, and I was like, oh, these are Booba's rules for his papers. These are the exact same thing. Um, so it really set me up well um, for my classes and I feel like it definitely helped me succeed. Um, I was definitely on the ball uh, as far as looking for jobs and things like that. Um, and I'm actually employed, gainfully employed, um, uh, which I'm one of the few uh, that are graduating from law school with a job already secured, um, which is really nice. Uh, and I will be moving away as well. Um, so I'll be going to Indianapolis for a public defender job, which I'm really excited about. And I feel like WMJ has definitely prepared me uh, for law school and for my career afterwards. And if I could just add something here, Robert, I forgot to mention too. Yeah, so that's actually one of the things I, I, I forgot to mention that was a huge help. I actually uh, got my current job was through an internship uh, that I got through the, the Career Center. Um, I'm, I don't know if it's actually down there still near GNT's by the bell. Okay, so um, yeah, R Roberta Cross at the time was a huge help. Um, and I interviewed as a sophomore uh had an internship as a sophomore as a junior and then they hired me full-time out here in greensburg right after graduation so that's what's led me to get here and like i said been with the same company now since 2017 so it's worked out pretty good and like Livy said you know it's, it's nice when a lot of your friends are stressing out about not having a job and you can just kind of sit back <laughs> <laughs> well we won't gloat at all we're, we're very yeah happy. no not at, all, not at all <laughs> but well done well done so we've heard from business, we've heard from CIS, we've heard from a pre-law program. Kenny, talk to us about pre-med. How well prepared for, for, were you for medical school? Definitely. So uh, I felt like I was very prepared, very well prepared for medical school. Um, so uh, after graduation, I actually spent a year working with Bob um, as an admission counselor uh, at, at my alma mater at WNJ. I uh, did that for a year while I was applying to med school. And then um, after I was accepted, I got accepted into a program here at Ohio State. And I'm finishing up my uh, second year here uh, at OSU. Um, and uh, really, re really love what I'm doing here. And I, I really felt like WNJ prepared me just in, in many different ways. Of course, curricular, curricularly and do the curriculum W and J is very rigorous and uh, prepares you on uh, knowing all the things you need to know for for the MCAT and to, to prepare you to do well in your first couple of years of med school. But also from the liberal arts perspective of uh, just being well versed in a, in a couple of different subjects that are not just your core curricular classes that are within your major. Um, I, I, through my interactions with patients so far, I've talked to them about uh, a lot more than just medicine. I've talked to them about, about music or philosophy or English classes that I've that I've taken at W and J and that I would know nothing about. If it wasn't for liberal arts. And I feel like just um, being those experiences as well as just being able to know how to talk to, to a person about anything and being able to take any challenge that gets thrown at you, WNJ really, really helps uh, prepare you for that. So I'm really grateful for not only the curricular help that WNJ provided uh, the foundation for my medical career, but also that liberal arts uh, education as well that allows me to be so adaptable and so um, and allows me to apply in many different situations. I'm sure your patients appreciate the fact that you can talk to them about medicine and other things instead of just what's what's ailing them. So, you know, well done. We only have a few more minutes left. So I, I wanna, you know, get to our last question here and I'm gonna ask each of you to take a, a, just a minute or so um, to tell us what piece of advice would you give all of the students and, and families that are out there watching us today? So um, Chris will let you go first. We'll go Chris, Jake, Kenny, and then Olivia, just so you guys have an order and you know what you're thinking about. Um, but Chris, if you could give one piece of advice today, what would it be? Yeah, I'd say a lot of the career success that I've seen is from never stopping learning. Um, I, I think that it's really important that, you know, the bachelor's degree will set a nice foundation for like the overarching stuff. But especially when you jump in that first job, you kind of have to check your ego at the door. You're going to be surrounding yourself with people that are a lot smarter than you, have more experience than you. 
And that's good. That's what you want. Um, and so make sure that you keep learning, keep reading, keep going over new concepts because your field's going to change over time and you have to be adaptive to that. Yeah. And I'll say too, um, you know, for me, when I was in high school, I kind of just breezed by classes, right? You know, 97s, everything was easy, didn't really have to study. And when you get to college, especially WJ, it's different. Uh, you know, I really struggled the first two years because I, same thing, I didn't try, I didn't think I'd have to. Um, and then once I started to study and put some effort forth, um, I saw the rewards. And so that's kind of my advice is, you know, you get what you give um, and you really have to try hard. Um, but it's worth it in the end and, and you will be successful, but you, you have to, you have to work for it. Yeah, I definitely echo those, the, both of those sentiments as well. And uh, I think for me, it would just say, I'd just say to take advantage of every opportunity that you can, that is humanly possible for you to take advantage of. Uh, all, all four of us up here are talking about all these wonderful opportunities that W&J presented us and that we took advantage of. And I'm sure like, we each could spend another half an hour talking about things that we wish we would have done and that was still available to us that we just either didn't have time for or wanted to and couldn't. Um, so, and a lot of those opportunities that, that we took advantage of put us in a good place that we're in right now. So I would say uh, going to W and J or wherever you end up uh, attending school, be, be aware, keep your mind open to different things, whether it's going into theater or, or transferring schools or anything like that. So um, just, just, keep, just keep your eyes open and keep your, keep your um, your, your lane's open that you can you can switch gears or take advantage of different opportunities, especially at W and J that can set you up for success in the future. I was gonna say take advantage of your opportunities, but um, I will instead say, uh, just enjoy your time. Um, college goes way faster than you're, you think it will. Um, so definitely just relish in the time that you're there. Um, w and J is a great place. I mean, again, you have all four of us taking time out of our days. Um, to come and talk to you guys. So you can tell that we definitely love W&J and we really enjoyed our experiences there. So just um, really take advantage of everything, every opportunity that comes your way. Um, enjoy your time there and just be happy. <laughs> I wanna take just a moment to thank Jake, Chris, Kenny and Olivia for sp A, spending some time with us today dur during the work day. So clearly they're taking some time out of their very important days and very busy days to impart their wisdom to you folks. I hope you appreciate that. I certainly do, and I'm re very grateful for them. Uh, I'm also grateful for, the fact, grateful for the fact that they've had awesome experiences. Um, you too, as a student at WJ, can have the same sort of experience. So I would encourage you, if you've not submitted your deposit, to go ahead and do that as quickly as, as you can to get access to Gateway as soon as possible so you can go ahead and complete your orientation forms. But other than that, really, guys, um, it's the best time of your life. You know, Take the next couple of days to, to enjoy. Um, come May 1st, you have to make a decision, and we hope it's to join us here at WJ. So thank you again to all of my panelists. I think you guys were awesome today. Well done, great job. Uh, it was awesome to hear your stories again. And to the people that joined us today, thank you as well. And we hope that you to see you on campus again very, very soon. Take care now. Thank you for the invite. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.